Hello there. My name is David Wood Sr. and I, along with my sons, David Woods Jr. and Devin Woods, would like to invite you to join us for the next half hour as we present Dayton People. Now it's a reality show that showcases people like yourself going about their everyday activities. So now, sit back, relax, and enjoy the program. Hello there, this is David Woods Jr., producer of Dayton People. Dayton People is a reality show of women in Dayton, Ohio, going about their everyday activity. The show was created by me, David Woods Jr., my father, David Woods Sr., and my brother, Devin Woods. We would like for you to also check us out on YouTube and also check us out on other stations like the Christian stations and other stations. So we would like for you to sit back, relax, and enjoy the program. Thank you. Oh there. I'd like to take this time to invite you and your family to join me for Dayton People. And I, along with my son, Devin Woods, would like to introduce you to some of the people of the Dayton area going about their everyday activities. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the program. Hello. Well, my name is Dale Groh. I'm the volunteer coordinator at Dayton Access Television, DATV Channel 5, which is the station you're watching right now, watching Dayton People. And I had the privilege of getting to meet Derek one time. Derek and a friend of his came into DATV. My friend Andy and I were very interested in having Derek on uh, doing his own live call-in television program, actually, because we really enjoyed listening to some of the insights and some of the real life experiences that Derek shared here on Dayton People. Um, I know a lot of the uh, individuals on Dayton People are perceived maybe um, unjustifiably in a certain way that is very negative. Well, my impressions of Derek when I met him here at DATV, he was a gentleman shook our hands, everything was yes sir, no sir, everything was very appropriate, very polite man. So, uh, you know, we're going to miss listening to Derek on Dayton People. Derek shared a lot of wisdom. He was very real with everything that he shared. And um, I'm sure, you know, it's, it's, it's a great loss not only to his friends but his family. We send out our we here, and I'm sure I can speak for everyone at DATV, send our condolences out to... Um, his family, his friends, and all that were close to him. Thank you, Derek, for all the wonderful memories you gave us right here on Dayton People. This is Dave Woods Jr., producer of Derek. Derek was a fine individual. He was very funny when I filmed him. Uh, and me and my dad, we enjoyed his humor. He was a very funny man. Uh, he always had a smile. He was a very friendly guy. He always had very funny advice, but it was very true and to the point. He would be missed very much, and I'd like to him and his family to know that he got a lot of respect towards us, towards the people, the station, and towards the community. Derek will be missed. Thank you. You know, I'd like to say a few words about a very special person that I've known for three years, and his name is Derek Connor. He was the star of our program, Dayton People. 
And during those three years that I've known Derek, he impressed me as a, a man who told it like it was. He didn't play any games with you. What you saw was what you got. And Derek was a man with a great sense of humor. Everyone who came in contact with him realized that this trait that he had was something that was very, very special. I know I'll miss him as well as his family. For Derek Connor was a man who had a gift, a gift that made people smile and laugh. And Derek Connor will be greatly missed. I'm Andy from DATV, uh, independent filmmaker here in Ohio, and also work at DATV. Um, I've helped David quite a bit when he's come in with his equipment from shooting Dayton people. So I've gotten to know a lot of the inside scoop on the shooting of Dayton people, and I've uh, gotten to appreciate um, what's been going on with that, and gotten through uh, the stories and watching the show to uh, appreciate Derek is a uh, storyteller and a raconteur, if you want to say, of uh, the ghetto. Um, the, the guy was a pretty uh, interesting fella, and he had a way to tell a story. And so I think a lot of people liked watching uh, Dayton People because they liked watching Derek and liked uh, to kind of follow him through the streets and through the houses and get to know what was going on out there in places they'd never got to see. And uh, they like to listen to him. I think that this is one of the reasons I like to look at the show. I like to listen to Derek and, you know, listen to how he just make up things on the spot and come up with some crazy stories and crazy anecdotes and crazy uh, names for things. And, you know, he had a, a way with words that it was uh, pretty special and pretty fun. And uh, it, made the, it, it was definitely a way that made that show worth watching. I mean, not that the show isn't worth watching now. It would always be worth watching, but... You know, he, he gave it a, a certain uh, layer of fun, whereas, you know, sometimes the show could maybe get a little heavy. He always kept it light and kept it, you know, on, on the sort of fun tip. And uh, so his stories were always appreciated. Uh, you know, around here at DATV, some of his uh, more <laughs> amusing and interesting uh, phrases would will live on, you know, the, uh, the smelling like mustard and things like that. Will, will often be repeated in these halls. So, so yeah, I'm so, sorry to hear about Derek and it's sad to see him go. Um, he was a young fella, and that's that's never good to see a young fella like that go before his time. But, but he's going to live on. You know, he'll be on the show. You know, these tapes will always be around. People will always be trading Dayton people out there. So, you know, the guy's not really gone. He's always going to be around on the show. So. Um, I do regret we never got the show online. Um, we talked about wanting to do that. I think he would have become a superstar if he'd uh, managed to get on the net. I think uh, Derek would have gone well beyond just dating people. He would have been an international sensation with his with his stories. So, so I'm sorry to see the man go, but uh, he lives on. What was your uh, best moments of this show? Oh man, well. Um, I don't know. There's a couple of different ones. There's, it's hard to. They all sort of run together. But there was one where he come running out of the house, chasing some car. I can't remember what it was going on, but he was. He come out there yelling at some car, and he, you know. But then he would just turn back around to the camera and be like, "Oh, that was so and so," and you know. And then he would, uh, you know, get that big grin again and start. You know, it was never very uh, rough for very long. But you know, like I said, some of his phrases and things are always going to be. Uh, what we remember, there was him talking about, I don't want to get into too much of it, but talking about the mustard and the toilet paper and some of his catchphrases, so we're going to remember that stuff. We did try to get him on a show here at DATV, but um, he never took us up on it. I don't know what was going on with that. So, How did you feel about the shock when you found out he died? It was it was very shocking. Like I said, he was a young man. How, how old was he, David? Uh, 39. Going 39. Up. I mean, that's my age. I mean, that's the same age as me, so that's shocking. You know, I mean, it's it's never. That's always something you you're surprised to hear, 
Yeah, it was it was shocking. I didn't something that you don't expect. You always expect you to come in, David, every every Monday with stories of dating people. We always expect to hear something about Derek. And that's gonna be sad now that we're not gonna be hearing that anymore. So. How do you feel about his advice he gave towards uh, the females? <laughs> that was always part of the charm of the show. I, I don't know if I would call any of it good advice. Um, it was amusing advice. Um, you know, he did, he seemed to always have some some women chasing after him on the show. So apparently, it went to some some higher truth that maybe I don't want to admit to. But you know, it was part of what made the show amusing. I don't know if, like I said, I can call it good advice, but but he he seemed to always have something to say about it. How about his rapping ability? He, he he liked to rap, you know. But then everybody on Dayton Peoples likes to rap. I mean, that's sort of a part of its charm too. Is it seems like you've turned that camera on somebody and they're going to start rapping. But yeah, it, you know, that was part of once again his storytelling ability. He had that, that power of the toast, as the used to, the old fellas used to call it. And so he he definitely had that going on. What do you got to say to his family? Uh, how do you feel about about what they're going through? I I'm sad for his family. I'm, Deeply, deeply sorry to his family, and you know he had a lot of a lot of kids, and you know I think that's really sad that he's passed on, and you know, and I feel for him, but I, I hope that they can take a little bit of uh, comfort in knowing that there were a lot of people out there that, that love the man through his show on TV, and that you know that there's some comfort out there that people will remember him. If uh, you could, if you could see Derek in the spirit, what would you say to him about all the conversations he did while he was here? That he, you know, that he should be proud of being on TV and, and talking his trash and making people smile, and you know, that he did something good. Hey, this is a sad day we're coming to you today. You know, bringing a a special memory of a. Uh, you know, our lost brother, well, our, our brother that's no longer with us. You know him as Derek D.C., you know, a great man, you know, great guy. You know, he was good to all of us, kept a smile. You know, I don't know if you can get a shot of this one, but that smile he got on his face every time he walked walk up to his house, he had that smile on him, <laughs> you know. <laughs> He's a silly dude, you know, so we're going to dedicate this show to Derek. Derek D.C. Connors, you know. We miss you, dude. You know, it was tragic. It was sudden. It was unexpected. You know, so we miss you. You know, his funeral was awesome. It was lovely. You know, it, it seemed like something that he would throw, throw together himself and that he would be, you know, he would be at. We uh we filming this episode in my house. <laughs> Something that he would do. I don't usually do this, you know. So this is my house, you know. Don't try to uh break in, because you know you will get shot. <laughs> you will get shot. Um, you know I got a lot of haters out there that just hate me, jealous of me, you know, because they ain't me. They look down on me like you know I'm just despicable scum of the earth, and I'm not. You know, they're lazy bums, they're losers. <laughs>